I take a quick video of this new model of the uh, 1008 friction heater. Um, it's solid aluminum outside of the drive compo er, components. And that's just a quick wind up with the hand showing how quiet it is when it runs. Um, it's not filled with anything, so it's just air inside of there right now. That's why it turns so easy. Uh, this is a new bearing cap seal and a seal will actually be pressed into here over the top. Let me stop this and show you. So that can be pressed into that slot and then these washers hold down that seal so it doesn't back out. And then you undo these three bolts and then that comes off and then exposes the bearing. Just cleaning things up. These are the uh, static disc hold, hold downs. Of course, if you're going to run this thing on its side, they'll have to have to figure some out way to seal up those threads. Probably as simple, simple as high temp silicone. The weight of this thing is extremely light. Um, I don't have a scale to weigh it, but I'm going to guess it's under 20 pounds. So that's it. And of course, got to be careful here. This is on my lathe. Um, you can run it if you can get the whole thing sealed up, run this thing in any direction you want. A um, little bit of noise there because again it's it's not uh, filled with anything so um, it's moving around a bit just because there's nothing holding it together. So that's it. Um, any questions? There's actually the next one in production right there. So all right. Oh, and here's the bottom of it. Um, completely sealed off the bottom. I'll, uh, I'll post this on YouTube. Uh, whole construction exterior is 6061 aluminum. Um, it's all machined by myself. Uh, quarter 20 all threads, stainless steel, hardware. Um, besides these guys, number eight, number eight um, uh, hex heads, machine screws. Uh, they're the same ones that go inside the actual chuck. Uh, so anyhow, a lot of lot of hold down pressure there, keeping everything nice and tight. And uh, I think from here to here on this model, I've got it down to about 10 inches. I can even get it shorter if I wanted to. I'm going to try and make one that's about half this size, like a pancake basically, and um, do a water jacket around it, and then pump fluid in and out of it around the exterior. So I don't know, feel free to leave some comments. And uh, that's the new kit. So the first one started out about 110 pounds and was solid stainless steel and uh, come a long ways with everything. So just keep going along. I got some new disc designs I'm working on. And um, I'll be having some input on that uh, as far as testing goes for efficiencies and all that other crap everyone's asking for, which I don't blame them. But it's, uh, you know, just one day at a time and one dollar at a time time and money. It's all it's all about. Okay, guys. Have a good day.